everyone it's crochet by bev welcome to my channel for this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to make the granny heart square cardigan first let me say thank you to the beautiful people of hobby for sending me these beautiful yarns that i'm going to use for this tutorial hobby is a copenhagen based company selling yarn to all the yarn lovers around the world you can find the link in my description down below to browse and look into their website this great quality and reasonably priced yarns so feel free to explore and find the perfect colors for you because they offer a lot of gorgeous shades in every of their yard and you can find also crochet and tunisian hooks knitting needles and a lot of accessories in every yarn you can see here customer reviews as well as downloadable free patterns, photo gallery of a finished item, and shared from their customers. And another I like in Hobby are they are always on sale. And also if you buy more, you can save more up to 40% discount. And based on my experience, in every order, you can get a free random items such as stitch markers, tapestry needle, buttons, and many more. Here in the pattern section, you can access all the free patterns ready to download as well as patterns created by designers from all over the world and by joining Hobby Plus, you can download them for free and get all the other exclusive benefits for Hobby Plus member. And how about play and win with Hobby Bingo? You can download the app and play their digital bingo and win a real prices like yarns, crochet hooks, knitting needles, yarn bags, accessories, and many more. Or go into their blog to read some more about this exciting game. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Amigo yarn. So Amigo yarn comes with different sizes. So there is number 3. This is the number 3 light worsted. And also Amigo XL, this is the number 4 medium weight. And next this is Amigo Chunky and this is the bulky weight yarn. Amigo is 100% acrylic yarn and it's light and soft and very comfortable to work with. So I'm going to try it here. So I'm using the number 3 and a plastic hook. And it slides very well into my hook. And if you want a quick result of your project, you can use the chunky yarns. I'm going to swatch it also. And I'm using a stainless hook here. And it slides very well also in my stainless hook using the chunky yarn. So if you want a quick result, you can use the bulky yarn. So it's going to be look like this. So you can compare the difference of number 3 and the chunky yarn. So I'm going to use in the tutorial the XL, the medium weight. Alright, so I'm going to use 5 different colors for the cardigan. So I'm going to use the Amigo XL. I'm going to put the link down below so you can find the link of these yarns. Alright, so we're going to make a total of 27 squares, 14 squares with a heart, and 13 squares with a plain color. So it's up to you how many colors you're going to use for your cardigan. So I'm using 5 colors of the Amigo XL. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to make the granny heart square. First, we're going to make a magic circle insert your hook and then make a chain 3 and this chain 3 counts as our first double crochet and then make another 2 double crochet inside of this circle then chain 2 then another 3 double crochet as you can see it slides very well into my plastic crochet hook this is the Amigo XL. Okay, so chain 2 again and another 3 double crochet. Okay, 
and chain two and one more three double crochet so this is our first round you can pull that close the circle and then chain two and then slip stitch into your first stitch which is the chain three one two three slip stitch so this chain two it's the corner so for me i want it to start my round two here in the corner what i'm going to do is slip stitch here into my next stitch then i'm going to slip stitch again here and here into the corner and then i'm going to start my next round here so i'm going to start with a double crochet which is chain three one two three chain three counts as our first double crochet and then two more double crochet here into the corner so in the corner is three double crochet chain two three double crochet okay so another double crochet then chain two then three double crochet so remember corner three double crochet chain two three double crochet okay and then so this is corner so we're going to work three double crochet chain two three double crochet then we're going to work here again it's the corner so we're going to work straight the corners three double crochet chain to three double crochet so no no chains here in between okay so go straight here and work three double crochet chain two three double crochet then repeat that into the other corner into the last corner then slip stitch here into your first stitch which is the chain three the slip stitch and you are done with your round two so as you can see here i have my round one then round two round three so i'm going to change color here in my round three to create my heart shape so i'm going to show you so you can see when you're going to change color so i'm going to start my round three in the corner so i'm going to slip stitch here and another slip stitch and into the corner slip stitch so according here in my pattern so i'm going to work corner and then i'm going to chain here so first chain three counts as first double crochet and two double crochet then chain two three double crochet so here before you finish your last double crochet because i'm going to change color here i'm going to make this so i'm going to insert my next color so what i'm gonna do is finish your double crochet with your next color so just hold like this and then insert your yarn so you pull to finish your double crochet okay so for me i want to carry my tail so what i'm gonna do is yarn over both the tail and my working yarn and then insert my hook here into the next space that i'm going to work and then now i'm going to drop my tail the tail and then grab only my working yarn and then finish your double crochet and remember also to carry your yarn a your first color so because we're going to use it again here okay so continue here three double crochet so two more so again we're going to change color here so here I'm going to chains so drop your yarn B 
and take your yarn a your first color and finish your double crochet and then continue with this color and then for don't forget to carry your yarn at the back for less weaving of ends and make your corner three double crochet chain two three double crochet okay So here I don't change so I'm going to work in this side three double crochet so remember there is no chain in between when you are working here and the side only when you work in the corner just make a chain two okay so go straight here and make your three double crochet and here I'm going to change color this part you can see so I'm going to change color so I'm going to drop my yarn A this and take my yarn B to finish my double crochet here and continue my stitch so here in the corner three double crochet chain two then three double crochet then again i'm going to change color here so i'm going to drop and take my yarn a to finish my double crochet and continue my double crochet here so three double crochet on the side then i'm going to change again here so you can see this so i'm going to change drop and take your yarn and continue your stitch Okay, so I'm going to change again here and then continue my double crochet, three double crochet. So my heart shape is only in three rounds, one, two, three. As you can see here, so I'm going to show you here, one, two, three. So now I'm going to use only my yarn B, which is the white color, this, to finish my round four. So I'm going to change yarn here. But if you are working a bigger square, what you're gonna do is make more changing here into your fourth round. So I'm going to show it like this so you have an idea where you're going to change color. Okay, so you're going to change again in this part to make it bigger your heart shape. Okay, when you are working a bigger square. So mine is only five by five so i'm going to stop now making the heart shape so i'm going to continue my fourth round only using this color okay so i'm going to show like this so you have an idea where to change color here if you are working a bigger square so mine i'm going to stop now uh, working the heart shape or changing the color so i'm going to use only my yarn b this white i'm going to do now my round four for my round four i'm going to work a regular three clusters and then the corner three double crochet chain to three double crochet so here i'm not going to start my round four in the corner because i don't want my slip seats visible in this part so i'm going to start my chain three here or my first double crochet and then i'm going to jump here in the corner and work three double crochet chain to three double crochet so that is the corner so my square is only four rounds because i working only five inches so it's up to you what size you are making you can make the heart shape bigger or if you are working the smaller one the smaller one is going to be look like this so this is smaller so this is four by four so i'm going to continue here just go straight here in the side and work your three double crochet or the cluster 
so remember there is no chains in between and this side okay so just go straight here and work the three double crochet okay so i'm going to finish this then i'm going to show you how to end our rounds And here, so I'm going to work only two double crochet because I start with chain three. And then when you are done your rounds, just slip stitch here into your first stitch and then cut your yarn and then weave your end. So for me, I want to weave my ends every after finish a square so I don't think about weaving a lot of ends. As you can see, I, all my squares are already weaved the ends. So here, just cut your yarn. And uh, take your yarn needle and weave your ends. You can do like this. Just a reminder that you need to weave your tails properly or secure because remember we are making a clothes so it's better to make it very secure especially here your round one or your first round foundation round so make it really secure what you're gonna do is make the knot here Just tie somewhere here in the loop and then weave inside. Okay, so just make it really secure, very secure because this is the foundation round and we are making a clothes. So just make it really secure. Okay, okay, so I'm going to weave also this. Alright, so my square is done. So make another squares in different colors. It's up to you what the colors you're going to use. And make also a plain colors. So I'm going to flash it here so you know the sequence how to put your square. So 14 with the heart and 13 with the plain color. Okay, so continue making your squares and then next i'm going to show you how to assemble our squares all right so when you are done making all your squares now we're going to sew the squares together this is the front panels and then the back panels so what we're going to do is we're going to sew it like this or it's up to you you can uh, do first so these squares and then add your next square here or you can do also like this and then do like that okay so it's up to you so i'm going to sew now my squares together all right so i'm going to show you how to sew the squares together so just flip them into the good side facing together you can do also you can use a slip stitch or you can use a long strand of your yarn and your yarn needle so it's up to you okay so i'm going to show you here how to do a slip stitch i'm going to put here in the back of this chain and back of this what you can do you insert your yarn here and secure you can do a slip stitch or you can sew with your yarn needle okay so i'm going to do is i take the front loop so this is the front loop that because i'm facing here and then here at the back loop of this uh, other square and make a slip stitch Okay, so just do a slip stitch if you prefer to use the yarn needle, you can do that also, okay? So it's going to be look like this. I'm taking my front loop here and then the back loop here and slip stitch. 
okay i'm going to show you the results it's going to be look like this so there is the other loop here so it's up to you you can do also the yarn needle okay so this is also nicer because there is a bit of space here for the square so you can do that or you can do the yarn needle by sewing all your squares all right so continue sewing all your squares together then i'm going to show you how to make the sleeves all right so when you are done joining all your squares for your back panel and front panels so now join them together the shoulders part here so you're going to sew that also all right so when you are done sewing the shoulders now decide how open you want for your armhole so for me i want my armhole open like eight inches so i'm going to double that up to make my sleeves okay this is my sleeve it's eight inches in this side and then just double it up to make the whole sleeve so this is 16 inches so i'm going to show you how to make the sleeve all right so this is my sleeve so i'm going to show you how to make it you can uh, directly attach into your uh, panels if you would like but for me i made it like this so i start here uh, chains and then single crochet then i make the cluster of three double crochets the stitch it's very easy so we're going to work it very fast okay so if you are using five colors or an odd number of colors like three colors five colors seven colors you can follow my steps here on the side because i did not a cut and insert my yarn here i just insert then carry my yarn going up because i alternate the colors you can do also like this if you are using three colors five colors any odd number of colors of yarn okay but if you are using uh even numbers you can do also alternate colors in every two rows or you can simply just cut your yarn then insert your yarn in your next row for your sleeve you're going to start with a chain a multiple of three then plus two okay so i'm going to swatch and make here a chain of uh, 17 so that is 15 then two so when you are done the wide of your armhole i chain here 50 chains so i started 50 chains so this is 16 inches wide okay my my sleeve is a total of 16 inches so i chain here 50 chains so it's up to you how open or how wide you want for your sleeves okay so when you are done the desired length of your chain we're going now to work our single crochet second chain from the hook so one two so make single crochet here and into the rest of your chains all right so when you are done your single crochet now we are going to make a three chain so these three chains counts as first double crochet and then turn your work so this three chain counts as your first double crochet so you're going to skip this first stitch okay so we're going to skip two stitches one two and then make a three double crochet here the cluster okay so you skip one two then three double crochet then skip two then three double crochet so simply as that just skip two and then three double crochet and then into the end i'm going to show you how to do the last stitch so just continue skip two then three double crochet okay so when you are here into your last three stitches just skip two and then here into your last stitch just make one double crochet so here i'm going to change my yarn because i'm changing every row so i'm going to insert my new yarn here before finishing my last stitch so just hold like this and insert your yarn to finish your double crochet and then when you are using three five colors you can do also like this to carry it up your unwork yarn so we're going to make a three chains so i'm going to put my hook here under of this to carry up also that unwork yarn and then make my three chains 
then these three chains counts as my first double crochet here okay and then turn then for the next row we're going to work two more double crochet here into this space just insert your hook in there and make two double crochet and then just skip this three double crochet and then this space between the cluster make your three double crochet okay so just do like this until you reach the end of your stitch so three double crochet into the space okay so here into the last stitch we're going to work three double crochet also so i'm going to put two double crochet here in the space and then one here into the third chain one two three this is the turning chains so i prepare putting it here my last double crochet and then here again i'm going to change my yarn so i'm going to insert my next color so if you are working with even colors like two four you can cut your yarn here and then insert your next yarn into your first stitch here okay so i insert my yarn here now I'm going to chain 3, so I'm going to carry up this unwork white and the tail. So what I gotta do is insert my hook under and then make a chain, 3 chains, then turn, and then work 3 double crochet here, okay? So alternate, if you work 3 double crochet here into your last space here only work one double crochet in this and then go straight here and work your three double crochet okay so just make sure your beginning stitch and last stitch are the same like here three double crochet three double crochet one double crochet one double crochet so i start here one double crochet so i gonna end up here one double crochet okay so just two three double crochet into the spaces so i'm going to carry it up also this so i'm going to insert my hook here and also there like that and make the double crochet so i'm going to change again my yarn here so i'm going to insert this and make a chain three so i'm going to carry this up again so if you are not uh, comfortable doing this you can cut your yarn and insert your next yarn okay so i'm going to carry them up all one two three so three chains first double crochet then i'm going to work two more double crochet here because we end up here one double crochet so we're going to work three double crochet here so one this three chain and then two more double crochet here okay so just simply as not the pattern of this stitch if you are confused just look your stitches your last row if you work here double crochet you should work three double crochet here into your first space and then and also with three double crochet then your next row should be one double crochet only in your first and in, in your last stitch okay so i'm going to finish this just to show you once more again so just continue make your three double crochet or that cluster you can see i work very fast in this amigo xl So I'm gonna work here three double crochet, right? Because this is one double crochet, so I'm going to work three double crochet. So first, I'm going to work here two double crochet. Then I work my last double crochet here, attached in my turning chain. So I'm going to carry this tail and the white yarn. Then I'm going to change with my next color, the green. So I'm going to insert here and then also this like that and work your double crochet and then before I finish I'm going to change my yarn insert this and then start with three chains again one two three so you can see I'm carrying up my tails and the underwork yarn 
so that I don't need to cut and fasten and weave a lot of ends later. So it's up to you if you are working with odd number of colors like three, five colors, you can do this also. If you are working with even colors like two, four colors, what you can do is you can alternate colors every two rows. So you can change the colors in your third here. So you have the same color in your first and second and third and fourth okay or just simply if you want to whip ends you can just simply cut and then insert your yarn then cut then insert here okay so here so we work here three double crochet in our last space so we're going to work only one double crochet here then go straight here and work three double crochet then just continue your three double crochet so just simply as this so work until you reach the desired length of your sleeves before your cuff so i'm going to measure my sleeves to you so you have an idea how long is it so here in my last stitch i'm going to insert here then i'm going to carry these stuffs here and then just do like that and then i'm going to change again so here since i already completed my pipe colors for example i I'm going to pick my first color so I'm going to continue now and then just make a three chains again so I'm carrying that up those up and then change and then turn then work your two more double crochet here okay so as simply as that to make our sleeve so just continue working your sleeves until you reach the desired length before the cuff this is the length of my cuff it's 14 at least 14.5 here and then i stop and then after that when you are reach the desired length so we're going to make a decrease here into your last stitch so when you are done the length and then we're going to make a single crochet two together in in the stitches okay so just continue work this and then now i'm going to show you how to do your decrease here to make it a bit uh, smaller the opening of your arms okay so when you reach the desired length of your sleeves now we're going to work how to decrease the arm so when you are here into your last row just make a chain one and then turn then here into your first and second stitch make a single crochet two together okay so insert hook grab a yarn then insert again here into your next stitch grab a yarn then pull it all into the three loops so that is single crochet two together then again here into your next stitch grab a yarn then next stitch insert hook grab a yarn three loops on the hook and then pull all into the three loops so just simply as that single crochet two together in your stitches okay and then you are done with your sleeves when you are done here we're going to work our cuff okay so when you are done your decrease i'm going to show you how to do the cuff so i choose here the acro color to make my cuff so it's up to you what color you're going to use for your cuffs so insert your yarn into the corners in any of the corner and then just make a chain so i chain here so i chain here in my cuffs nine chains and uh, this is a total of uh, eight stitches so it's up to you how long you want for your cuff so i'm going to measure this to you so my cuff is 2.5 inches okay so i'm going to chain 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then to start we're going to work here second chain from your chain make a single crochet then single crochet into your chains so this is a simple ribbing stitch single crochet into the back loop okay okay so when you are done your single crochet slip stitch here into your next stitch 
then you're going to slip stitch one more here into your next stitch then turn then we're going to work your single crochet into the back loop only to make the ribbing so this is the back loop okay so don't confuse with your slip stitch here so don't work in there okay so we're going to insert our hook into the back loop and make a single crochet so do like that into the back loop single crochet into all of your stitches then when you are done chain one and turn then continue again single crochet into the back loop into your stitches then slip stitch here into your next stitch then into your next stitch slip stitch one more then turn then work into the back loop again single crochet okay so just do your single crochet into the back loop for the ribbing to make our cuff just do this all the way around into your sleeves okay so just continue make your ribbing it's going to be look like this and then when you are done just leave a long tail so we're going to use this to sew the sleeves here so i'm going to sew it now okay so just sew the cuff together and then when you are done here just sew also the side of your sleeves okay so we're going to sew also in this side okay so make your sleeves and then we're going to attach it into the panels all right so when you are done sewing your sleeves so now touch your sleeves into the panel so you're going to sew that all the way around and then continue here at the side to attach your sleeves in the panel and also here just start here go around and then continue in the side so make sure the sewing line is under here okay so not on the top so the sewing line of your sleeves is here okay so do your sewing just make it around there and then continue here the opening of your armhole then continue here okay then i'm going to show you how to make the hem part all right so when you are done attaching your sleeves into the panels now we're going to make the hem so i already chained here my desired length for my hem so i'm going to so here attach your yarn in this corner and then chain the desired length for your hem so for me i chain 11 so i'm going to have 10 stitches for my ribbing so it's up to you how long you want for your ribbing okay or for the hem here so i make 11 chains then into the second from the hook make a single crochet so it's really the same how to make the ribbing here from our cuff the one that we made here so it's really the same so you're going to make a single crochet into all your chains then slip stitch here then slip stitch into the next stitch then turn then single crochet into the back loop into your first stitch not into the slip stitch okay so don't be confused again so just do single crochet into the back loop to make your single crochet ribbing okay just chain one and turn and then single crochet into the back loop okay so just continue like this doing your single crochet into the back loop only then just slip stitch then slip stitch once more here then turn your work then single crochet into the back loop then here if you in this side just chain one and turn okay so just do like that into all the hem part of your panels and then finish your ribbing in this part then just fashion of your yarn and then we're going to continue to make the sides of our cardigan all right so when you are done your hem now we're going to make the side of our cardigan together with the neckline going around like that so we're going to add also the buttons and to create the button holes so it's very simple we're going to make here we're just going to make a single crochet all the way around then go back also with single crochet and the, just a row of single crochets and then at some point we're going to make uh, button holes so decide where you're going to put your button holes so i'm going to put three pieces so i'm going to put in here and here and in this side 
so I'm going to show you how to make the side and then how to create the bottom hole. Alright, so start here. Insert your yarn in this corner and then start your single crochet. So just make a chain one and then into the same stitch, make a single crochet and then into all the stitches here, single crochet. So it's very simple just put all single crochet all the way around up into the neckline and then go down here and then finish then we're going to chain one here then turn work then go around again here then at some point we're going to make a button holes okay so it's very clear because we have a clear stitches here so just make your single crochets all the way around your neckline okay so i'm going to make this and then i'm going to show you here and then we're going back and then we'll create the button holes all right so i'm done my first row then when you are here just chain one and continue again single crochet all the way around and then i will just make a few more rows and i will show you how to do the button holes all right i'm now in my fourth row and i'm going now to create my button holes in this part so i'm going to put my buttons here and there and in this part so i'm going to create my button holes in this part so it depends how big your buttons also so what we're going to do is if you have a bigger buttons you can do is chain two then skip two then single crochet into the stitches again until you reach the next part to make your button holes okay you can try it on if it passed through here so for me it's a bit big so i'm going to make only one chain and then skip one then single crochet into the stitches okay so you can uh, try it on your buttons into the skip stitch and chain one if it pass through in there so for me it's only one skip and one chain so it passed through my button so that is my button holes okay so just continue and then here i'm going to create again my button holes then in this part and then later when you read here just chain one and turn then continue few more rows to create the side of your cardigan okay so do your button holes then make a two or three more rows of single crochet then you are done your cardigan okay so here when you are going back to make your next row just make one single crochet here into your skip is skip into your uh, chain one or chain two okay so single crochet single crochet then make a single crochet also into your chains okay all right so i'm done the sides of my cardigan it's a total of six rows so just attach your buttons in this side and then weave all your ends and then you are done with your cardigan all right so thank you so much for joining me making this cardigan hope you enjoy if you are making this tutorial you can share your finished work in my instagram at crochet by bev and see you again next time and happy crochet everyone bye